What's up, I'm travel photographer Brendan Benson of brendansadventures.com and I'm here in Helsinki, Finland. So I'm here in Helsinki continuing my winter in Europe and it's kind of funny that I'm doing winter in Europe on like the warmest winter in history. It's three degrees today, it's supposed to be seven or eight degrees tomorrow. Um, but that's okay. I still got Christmas markets like the one behind me. I've still got the sun that's so low, it's 11 in the morning and the sun is still at like sunset, sunrise height. So it's a really cool place to be. I've got just two days here to get some shots for, for a couple of clients. So I'm gonna do some exploring today and then uh, shooting tonight, tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. So let's go do it. So my visit to Helsinki so far has been a, a classic example of why you don't procrastinate shooting. Um, the weather forecast was for beautiful weather the whole time I was here. But when I woke up this morning to shoot sunrise, it was pouring rain. It's been basically drizzling and nasty all day today. But luckily yesterday I got really cool shots and from a, a bunch of different angles of, uh, of different scenes in Helsinki that I wanted to shoot. So if I don't get anything today, it's really not the end of the world just because I got all those shots yesterday and I went out and I worked hard yesterday rather than procrastinating my images today like I could have done. When you're a photographer, when you're a travel photographer especially and you have limited time in places, don't wait till the last day to shoot things. Don't wait till the last day to shoot things. Do them right away. Do them when you can. Do them um, no matter what. Do them even if the weather forecast ahead looks fantastic because things change. Um, anyways. Today's been a bit of a wash, literally. It's wet and drizzly and rainy. Um, but I'm gonna try to get some shots this afternoon anyway. I might not get anything, but I'm gonna have a look around. I'm gonna maybe shoot some time lapse as well. And if I get a shot or two at the end of today, well, it was worth it. If not, I got my shots yesterday. So, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Helsinki is a really cool place. It's different than I expected. It's probably more photogenic than I expected or the imagery that I've seen from Helsinki has shown. And yeah, really liking town so far. So far. Let's explore more of it. So guys, that's it for me in Helsinki. The second day was was pretty bad weather-wise, so I didn't shoot anything. I, I took one or two photos there at the end of the day, but it just wasn't working. It didn't, there was too much rain. The rain was kind of blowing sideways. So I got a couple shots, but nothing nothing serious. Still, I'm glad I, uh, I went out and shot so much on that first day because I did get some cool shots. Um, I got the shots I needed for my client. So 
all is good. Uh, I'm now in uh, a dorm room all by myself <laughs> in Tallinn. They didn't have any private rooms, so they gave me a 12-bed dorm room to myself, which is crazy. So I'm now in, in Tallinn, and that's where the next episode's coming from. This this Europe road trip is crazy. It's a, it's a rail, land, sea trip, maybe a little bit of air mixed in there, but it's crazy. I've got like 10 or 12 destinations to cover in like 40 days. So it's a lot of work. It's going to be busy and it's going to be crazy. And hopefully it's going to be fun for you guys to see as well. So stay tuned for the next episode coming from Tallinn, Estonia. I'll see you next time. Peace.